As an artist, he had to produce art in any form all the time. It was his therapy, it was his life, it's what kept him sane. His art depicts his feelings, the emotion of humanity, the earth, of relationships, of human tragedy, human triumphs, love, laughter. He embodied everything in his art. Larry as an artist was a true visionary. Now maybe I'm biased because he was my husband, but I truly believe he had something that many people do not have. We're married 12 years after we were together. And I saw him change from almost being a little bit of a lack of self-confidence. He was drawing, he was doing cartoons, he was sketching more with ink. And then it, he translated that into paints where he was using acrylic, he was using watercolor. Um, he did one oil painting, but otherwise his main medium was acrylic. And I saw this transformation. When he was going through a dark time, some of his paintings were a little darker. When he was feeling a little lighter or something fabulous was happening around the world, or in our life, and his, the lightness of his heart, then you saw that brighter um, work come through. He was not only a painter, he did sculptural frames for his paintings, he was a poet, he was a musician. He was truly an experimental artist. We were in the process of starting to do his art in fabric form, and after he um, got sick and then passed away. I had to take some time because he left me all this art as I was a part of it throughout, all, throughout the 30 years. It took me some time to figure out how I wanted to proceed because there's only a certain amount of paintings left and how do I continue his legacy that he left to me and share it with the world. So I, a friend of mine had told me about Hans Carpet because there was a painting, La Femme, the original, that I thought, wow, this would be amazing as a rug. The first thing is I sent the, an image of the artwork and asked, could you translate this and make a rug? They came back, yes, they could. So they, get, they asked for some time to do the translation. We received that first rug in, we unrolled it, and we all went, is this as good as we think it is? Can it be this good? And it really was. So then the, the process started, well, we need to now expand this. We need to really make a rug line. Starting a painting, he's laying the groundwork, and he may have set up three or four pieces to start with. At one time, he covered the entire wall with uh, maybe 20 different pieces of paper. He taped them all up, and he went around the room and slowly painted each painting, and he'd walk up to different ones at each time, and he did this massive series. And a few of the pieces that the rugs are derived from are from that wall series, which was incredible. I was the manager, I was the packer, I was the critic, I was the one that he bounced his ideas off of. All parts of it, we really had a true partnership. He allowed me to come into his world and to experience his art and to be a part of it. He always said that if I was in the house and he was painting at home, it didn't matter that I was upstairs, he just painted better if I was in the house. We had a connection that was it's something that was so rare. I view art as a luxury for everyone. It should not be for just people who have the means to purchase million dollar paintings. Art should be for everyone because the artists are not millionaires. You start from some place and you create because you have to create. It's in you, it's in your fiber, it's in every part of your being because when we have more art in the world, the world is a better place. And her a copper ring. Larry wanted to ask Lori just one thing. He handed her a copper box and got down on his knee and said, Dear Lori, will you marry me? So they would like to invite you to attend when each of them married their best friend. Friday, September 8th, 2000 is the date when each will give their vows to their soulmate. The ceremony will begin at 6 p.m. Please join and celebrate with them. 
The wedding will be held in Chicago at Valley Low, Lori Wentworth, and Larry Roberts.